Yo, yo, yo. What up, guys? It's Brian here. Um, I gotta... Uh, I seriously need everyone to pay attention, especially the older generation, because I'm about to tell you some real-ass shit, like the dot-com era, the, the you know, the dot-com bubble, like when internet and computers were that main craziness in the 90s, the early 90s. And I guess early 2000s. We are changing and we are entering the technological era. The technology era. You can literally have AI now answer your company phone calls talk to a human with and talking like a human answering questions that relate to your business looking at your calendar seeing what days are open and scheduling a date with that customer <clears throat> sounding like a fucking human and it's AI say goodbye to <clears throat> receptionists admin assistants they're gonna be gone like you can go on AI chat GPT creators go on to the playground go to examples <clears throat> you can literally tell it to write you code for example you can say I want you to use the directory path C, user, Brian, desktop, and this folder, you know, generator manuals. I want you to use that that path and allow people to search for different documents on there. And I want you to auto-populate as they type in certain words, it auto-populates whatever files fit that search. Oh, and make it a, an actual program where you can have a, you know, a, a GUI, a graphic user interface so that you can, um, it's not using Python, like the run command and, and all of that weird shit. It's actually a, a, a program and you press enter and that thing says, okay, here you go. All of this crazy fucking code language. And say you get that far and you're like, well, what the fuck do I do with this code? Huh? Well, why don't you just ask it? Hey, what exactly do you want? How do I really make this code work exactly? And please explain it very, very in depth. Oh, okay. Well, you highlight from this part all the way down to this part. And you have to either press Windows plus the R word, the R letter, which will bring up your run command box, and you type in this, or and then when you type in that and it pops up, then you type this in. I mean, you can tell it to write you anything now. Once ChatGPT5 comes out, you're going to be able to have... The, movies made that have never been seen before with never before seen actors and they're all going to be AI created a two hour long video oh well what do you want the video to be about oh you know what make a two hour long video about a guy and his uh, family struggling in this country that gets kidnapped and make it very very exciting and filled with action but then have some crazy 
scary, sad scenes also. Um, ultimately, I want this guy to survive in the end and live happily ever after. Here you go. Let it upload and go ahead and pl press play. Here's your two hour long video. No bullshit. That's where we're at. Like, the world is changing before your eyes and you have no idea. We are changing banking system, um, pl platforms. We're not doing the whole SWIFT and the whole two-day period for processing transactions. This is, we're switching to on-demand liquidity. Look it up. We are going to blockchain technology. Yes, cryptocurrency. For the longest time, major bank institutions and financial institutions, aka BlackRock, the largest hedge fund in the world worth, you know, nine plus, nine something trillion dollars. CEO, Larry Fink, Bank of America CEO. What's his name? Some Jamie Dimon. Go look at what they had to say about crypto and Bitcoin and, you know, uh, even just like a month ago. Oh, it's bad. My customers would never use that. No, they don't give a shit. No, it's stupid. No, it's going to go down. No, no, no. It's a scam. It's for fraud. That, that one always made me laugh. Oh, cryptocurrency is literally where all the fraudsters are using. Uh, what the fraudsters are using. Oh, really? Well, then how come year over year we still have more fraud scams, Ponzi schemes happen in the U.S. banking system than we do in crypto? Exactly. Shut your mouth. You're, you sound... Uh, you know, it's crazy. It's like the older baby boomer generation just it they just it goes in one ear and out the other they don't care they believe what they see on the internet what they see on the news is what they believe and it's just not the case um go look up xrp we are going to a new banking system the u.s is the last country we are the farthest behind because the sec has been literally not giving anyone clarity. And so con companies that bring in millions and billions of dollars, they bring in millions in tax paying money are being dro driven away from the US because there's no clarity on, on anything. It's basically Larry Gensler, the head CE, uh, the head chair for the SEC doesn't and will not give clarity because ultimately there's only one answer. He's he's corrupt and bought out and he's he's being told what to do, ultimately. I mean, the dude used to teach about crypto and had a totally different viewpoint when he was teaching at MIT. And now all of a sudden when he's head SEC, he is totally, he is totally manipulated, bottom line. XRP is the cross-platform currency that is going to be used for all digital currencies when you s send money to a different country. It is discussed all the way back to like 2000 and freaking like five. The government... is just now getting uh, excuse me um i bought in xrp what i'm getting at is i'm not a financial advisor this isn't financial advice this is just what i did after the research you know everyone hates when people talk about stocks they hate it 
because it's speculation. It's, oh, I think this is going to happen. Uh, you don't think shit because ultimately you have no idea what's going to happen, right? That's how I am. When someone tells me to invest in stock and it's like, dude, just stop, man. This is not the same thing. I'm telling you to invest in crypto. Do your research. Why is it not the same thing? Why is this not speculative? Why is this not just what I think? Because it's on documents. We are going to on-demand liquidity. We are using blockchain technology now. We are in the process. We're using cryptocurrencies. It is in documents. This isn't a guess. This isn't a maybe. This is in documentation, guys. This is the, the closest thing you will get to factual evidence that we are going this path, this route. We are going cryptocurrency blockchain technology. The banking institutions have finally jumped on board. Now that XRP slash Ripple has won the lawsuit, BlackRock, they applied to the SEC for uh, opening a Bitcoin ETF. They want to be an exchange. They want to be like Coinbase, yada, 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 yada. But yet, uh, you know, for the last five years, the CEO has just been very negative about the whole block, you know, crypto and, and, and whatnot. Jamie Dimon also, obviously... They're losing lots of money when people stop using their bank and they use their own bank, a.k.a. your digital wallet, a.k.a. In two miles, take exit 67 toward Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard, Hammondville Road. Your cold storage wallet. Guys, cryptocurrency is a little confusing. If you want to learn more about it, I'm going to be making videos I highly, I bought XRP at, let's just say 40 cents. It went up to uh, 95 cents today, guys. Like, this is no joke. This isn't a guess. This isn't me speculating. XRP is going to have a market value in, in the many, many trillions of dollars. Well, it was in the lawsuit. Since U.S. government uh, companies were like, oh, a little nervous about waiting and, and investing into the company because of the lawsuit, XRP slash Ripple expanded in Europe and Asia like no one's business. Ninety like fry ninety five percent of Ripple's customers are not US based. They are all obviously not every single one. Half a mile. Take exit 67 toward Dr. Martin Luther King. A huge Boulevard. chunk. A huge amount of countries are all about this new banking system. Currently, banks have to have a couple of million dollars in in a lot of the popular areas all around the world to have liquidity in a, in a way. When you send money to China, you, the person you're sending it to will get it, you know, in a couple of minutes, basically. But that is only on the outside of things. On the inside, ultimately, your bank is fronting you that money until the transaction gets cleared, processed, and that can take from a day to two days. And so, ultimately, they need to have money st stashed away to spot their, their customers. And so, when... It's sitting for a day, up to two, 
waiting to be processed, it can't be used, right? And so banks make a lot of their money on the fees, the overdrafts. If they could have on-demand liquidity where, number one, they don't need to have millions and millions of dollars spread out all over the place in different areas to have as extra money for when customers are sending stuff. It would save millions, ultimately billions, because if someone sends money to China and now that money is basically locked away for a day or two as it gets you can't use it. You can't tax it. You you can't get the fees from it because it can't be used. If you have on-demand liquidity and I send money to China and my friend gets the money, it's actually, with XRP, it is processed and approved or whatever in like two seconds. The fees, if you sent $10 million How much do you pay in fees to send ten million across across no ten million from the US to China? So you're gonna spend basically, and this is just one platform, $4.23, a small flat fee of $4.23, plus 0.65 of the amount that's converted. That's gonna add up, guys. Stupid expensive. 25 cents to 1.75 cents. Now, with XRP, a $10 million transfer is like two cents. No bullshit. No bullshit. So... You can invest if you want. I want you to look into it to see that I'm like not bullshitting you because it's gonna be the biggest transfer of wealth in, in, in ever recorded in history. This next three to five years is going to be the biggest transfer of wealth ever seen. Do the research guys. That's, I want y'all to realize, this is not me guessing. This is not guessing. This is in documents. You think the government, you think the news sources are gonna tell everyone this? 